An analog clock is a timekeeping device that has numbers around the edge with hands that rotate around to indicate the time. To tell time on an analog clock, you look at where the hands are pointing. The small hand tells you the hour. The big hand tells you the minute of the current hour. And the thinnest hand indicates the seconds of the current minute. You cannot tell from an analog clock if the time is morning or afternoon. To read an analog clock, begin with the hours. Look at the shortest hand only. When the hour hand is pointed directly at the clock number, you know it is exactly that hour. The hour hand will point directly at a number only 12 times in 12 hours. Most of the time, you will see it pointing between two numbers. When the hour hand is in between two hours, the number behind the hand is the current hour. For example, if the hand is past 1, then we are at some time between 1 o'clock and 2 o'clock. Next, we determine the minutes. When measuring minutes or seconds, we must multiply the printed numbers times 5. When the minute hand is pointing to the 1, it indicates 5 minutes past the current hour. The second hand works the same way. It just indicates seconds instead of minutes. Let's practice with an example. Here is an analog clock. The hour hand has gone past the 8 but is not yet on the 9, so we know we are in the 8 o'clock hour. Now we look at the minute hand. We use our mental math to multiply those printed numbers times 5, or we count the small marks between the numbers. Here the minute hand is 2 marks past the 4. 4 times 5 is 20, and we add 2 for the 2 marks. This gives us 2 minutes. We are 22 minutes past 8 o'clock, so we are at 8.22. Last are the seconds. In this picture, the second hand is pointing at the 1. 1 times 5 is 5, so the clock is showing 5 seconds past the minute, so our clock time is 8.22 and 5 seconds. The time can be written like this. Some very fancy watches do not use the printed numbers. You are expected to know what the bolder marks mean. Telling time on watches without numbers works the same way as a clock with numbers. Just pretend the numbers are there and decide where the hands are pointing. At first, memorizing the positions and numbers may seem hard, but you can learn how to tell time without needing the numbers if you practice.